Today, we're making chow mi fun Singapore noodles. So if you're a fan of Asian cooking and you love rice stick noodles, stay tuned because this recipe is up next. Here I've got two different styles of rice noodles. The thinner noodle is the traditional mi fun noodle and I showed you how to make these a while back. They can be cooked in boiling water or deep fried. Now these vermicelli noodles, or rice sticks, are thicker, flat noodle like a fettuccine noodle. This is more for the chow fun. But it doesn't really matter which noodle you choose to use, but for the chow fun noodles, you need to cover these with hot water for one hour. In the meantime, I'm going to cut up some ginger, some fresh garlic, and you can cut thin slices or chop it up, carrot slices, celery, onion, Napa cabbage, and some spring or green onion. We're also going to need some bean sprouts. And I'm just going to add this to a larger bowl so I don't make such a mess when I give all this a toss. And I'm going to go ahead and add the green onion to the mix, but a lot of folks like to add it at the end of the cooking. Now here I've got some oyster sauce. I'm going to add that chopped garlic to it, followed by some soy sauce, sesame oil, some fish sauce, rice wine, and here I've combined sugar, salt, and MSG, and I'm going to add some white pepper. Now that's pretty much the sauce to make the mee fun noodles, but if you want to make it Singapore, you need to add curry powder. And the amount that I'm adding is mild, so if you like a spicier dish, just add more curry. Just be sure to give it a good mix to look something like this. By now our noodles should be ready, so I'm going to give these a quick strain. And once you're convinced all the water is completely strained out, go ahead and add this to a bowl and add some oil. This will keep the noodles from sticking. Now all we need is a couple whisked eggs. And you need two of these for every five ounces of cooked noodles. And that pretty much covers all of our bases. And every restaurant will get it all prepared like this before they go to the stove. And even though you can cook this on an electric stove, like what I've got, it's so much funner to cook in a wok on an open flame. So over high heat, I've added canola oil to the wok. I'm going to add the eggs first and move this around quickly so it doesn't burn. After about 10 seconds, I'm going to add the vegetables. 10 more seconds, I'm going to add the vermicelli, or rice noodles. It's important at this point to keep moving this around. Every ingredient in there has seasoned that oil, and you want that oil to spread over all that vermicelli noodle. It also helps the texture. And after about 30 seconds, it's time for our sauce. I'm only going to use half of it. Again, it's important to move this around, constantly stirring until all of that sauce is seasoned and spread throughout that entire dish. And as soon as that color is spread evenly and you got a nice sear on the noodles, you can go ahead and remove from the heat and plate. If you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And there you have it. Chow Mi Fun Singapore Noodles right here in the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen. Thank you for watching and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.